Hey everybody, this is sort of part two, or just a quick abridgment of the long and boring tutorial number two. And I wanted to talk about using Erwin Leroy's uh, Nuka Vector Matrix Master plugin. So I have a link at the bottom if you're curious as far as, uh, you know, getting this plugin. I discussed it earlier that it's not very smart to use the motion blur inherent in these two corner pins collectively because it's not going to be accurate to the actual solve. So the couple things we did to counteract that was to do a track and plug that into the motion vectors of a motion blur node to be driven by the vector blur node. So we're going to go ahead and uh, not even have to do this. So I can go ahead and get rid of motion blur uh, vectors. I don't have to go through this process of trying to track the area. I don't need the vector blur. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'll take these two nodes right here that we did the corner and we're going to combine them with this plugin. So to install this plugin, um, for some reason I had to use the master. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, I just put this path in the master and there's a dot folder in here. So this is basically what I had to do. Obviously you guys probably already know how to install plugins or uh, gizmos and so forth. So uh, when you restart Nuke you'll have a couple new things. You have this down here with all these new cool tool sets. I recently spoke to Erwin and um, it looks like he's going to be coming onto the show um, to kind of demo these for uh, tool time in Nuke. So that'll be great. Um, and then uh, Transform Utilities is where you're going to see the new stuff and both of these are awesome tool sets. And the uh, merge transforms is what we're going to use. So you just grab all your transforms and this is a different iteration so you won't see that one transform node there but if you have the transform node, the corner pin, the corner pin, you can grab all three of them. You know, doesn't matter, grab them all and hit merge transform and I'm going to go ahead and just say OK. So now I have a kind of a combined version of this workflow. So all I have to, I can go ahead and disable these two now and just drop this in. And now I can copy and paste this, make an inversion of it to make a stabilizing, stabilizing motion blur check. And I'll throw it over here. And now we can go ahead and just play it through. Now this time around we are not using the motion blur, the vector blur, we're going to use the motion blur inherited in the corner pin. So I'll go ahead and turn that baby on. Don't forget to put your shutter offset to centered. And now it's just a matter of you uh, adjusting the shutter uh, intensity here. So using your arrow keys, we can kind of go ahead and just play it through here, see how, see how we're looking. So it's already doing a great job, but you can go ahead and, you know, motion blur is pretty much the sampling. Um, you can go ahead and see if I go ahead and plug this, it says sets the number of motion blur samples. The shutter is the intensity. There is no shutter sensitivity like there was in the vector blur. You just got to come in here and kind of do your best. And let's go ahead and just play it through. And it's also good to play this at a slower speed because you're going so fast. So maybe like eight frames per second. And now we can kind of just judge it, how it looks from there, you know. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So this comes in handy to avoid the headache of all these, but it's also very important to know the vector blur node as well. Kind of, you know, just have a little uh, background on it in case you ever have to use it. So just go ahead and just play it through. And there you go, folks. And again, I, I wish I had a better demonstrational uh, video for this. Um, you know, you, there's certain circumstances like shots that are obviously owned by the studios that you work in production and you're like I'm sure you guys experienced this before where you work on a shot and you go wow this would make a great tutorial because this shot is sort of like a, a unique shot that you don't bump into too often but it has introduced challenges that are specific to the circumstance but of course these shots are owned by studios and you can't do that <laughs> so I try to go out and shoot my own footage as much as I possibly can so uh, just for the heck of it, since the store is closing soon, I went ahead and posted this up on the store. If you want to grab it, if you need it for reference, um, it's pretty self-explanatory through the video. You probably don't need it. But if you do, uh, you can go ahead and grab the uh, files. They should line up perfectly fine. Uh, just unzip it, the uh, Lafayette 
theater footage is in there, the, the Blade Runner poster is in there. So, again, it's free. Uh, if you'd like to support the site, uh, go ahead and th throw a purchase on there if you want. But again, like I said, the store is currently going to be shutting down very soon. All right, see you later.